Women are used to dealing with men that tolerate their capriciousness. However, some men have their stuff together and let an entitled chick know that she cannot cross certain red lines. He's having the ribs. Okay. Because we're going to share. Nah. <laughs> no, but this is a big problem. I like to pick off of other people's plates. She's going to have the ribs, and then right. can I have a steak, please? We didn't agree that, but okay. So you're stubborn then, yeah? I get my own weight every time. Every time? Every time. Oh, hell no! Every girl wants their own way. Every girl wants to eat off your plate. <laughs> like, no is never the answer. No! I love shopping. You spend a lot of money on your outfits. No. Nah. What's not happening? I ordered the ribs, you eat the ribs. Bye, see you soon, bye. I think if you're out, you should put your phone away. Babe, it's you know what I've realised there's a lot of opposites between us. I text my friends a lot. I like someone that I can eat my food from their plate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe you need someone to teach you that you don't always get your own way then. He's a boss. These are the boundaries, woman. <laughs> Take it or leave it. No concessions whatsoever. If more men did what he did, sugar babies would be a minority in today's society. Let's check some comments. This is a real mental hangup with some women. They have their own food, but somehow have designs on yours too. Top man for not putting up with her nonsense. The waitress was turned on by the big no. <laughs> Proud of this man for standing up to this woman. Any man who would eat with her is either very hungry, very stupid, or very lonely. He is the real Giga Chad. Well played soldier, looks like she never grew out of that spoilt brat stage. That is ridiculously brazen to act like that on a date with a stranger, let alone live on national TV. I see many cats in her future. 99.9% .9 of women, no means no. Her, no is never the answer. Men. So, which is it? And look, if that was great, this is outrageous. When women cheat, they resort to the narrative that it's the man's fault. Clown world. Thrown I think out. if a wife cheats on her husband, he did something, like, wrong. Yeah, he, he made a fault, I think so. Like, I disagree. She's not oh, just going to I disagree. Wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to make sure I heard. If, if a husband cheats on a wife, you said? No, if no. a wife cheats on her husband... Oh, he no, did, I disagree with you. He did something, like, Oh, wrong. come on. Yeah. So, so if yeah. the woman does something bad, she has no agency, it's the man's fault. If a woman does something, no, 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 she's at fault too, but like she was probably telling him like for a while, like you're doing something. Like, let's well, you say probably, what, what if she wasn't? What if she just is a sociopath? Well, that's, I mean, um, I would believe in a, like a marriage that works, you would talk about things and try to... Marriages aren't easy, so you have to talk about things. You're not just gonna like not tell your husband yep. if he's like. But what if she? You. What if she did it and she just would cheats on? Would you guys on do that if you were married to someone? Would you guys like if they were upsetting you for a while? Would you just not say anything? No, I would talk so about it. it. Yeah, you yeah. talk yeah. about I it and try, try to. I wouldn't about cheat it. on. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah, I cheat either. Cheat. But what about the woman that does? What do you mean? What about the woman that doesn't talk about it and she just decides to go cheat? That's not the man's fault. That, I mean, why would she not talk about it though? What if she's just a bad person? Why would someone rob a bank? Why would someone murder someone? They're just, they're just bad people. But that guy married her, so he loved her, right? Yeah. So then he knew what she was when he married her. <laughs> well, that's if she's maybe just, like, not just always the case. If she's just a bad person. What if, what, if they, what if they've been married for like a week and then she cheats on him? Right. So they really don't know each other as well as someone that's been married for but, 20 years. But when you be with someone for a while before you marry them? A lot of people don't. Unfortunately, that's not true. You're unfortunately, not like a lot of people don't. Always a cheater. Like you're not like born like a cheater, and like in the future, like, like. It, Why would you just like marry someone you barely know? My brother got married within three months of knowing his wife. <laughs> hmm. That's weird. But he barely knew her, and he married her. Yeah, and they're still together. It's been three years. The, so, the, the so point then it's is, not always bad then. it's not out of the realm of possibility or reality that a woman could cheat on a man and have it not be the man's fault. 
I think I think you saying so he's just doing everything right and she just loves him so much and she goes and cheats. Let me ask you this. Let's let's say the man did do something wrong. Let's say the man um, Let's say the man worst case scenario. Okay. Is she justified in cheating? Yes, for a, do you think so? I would I would say she should get a divorce from him and not, yeah. and not well, cheat. Some people, get divorced and then cheat. Some people I've actually heard um, when they're being a they cheat to get out of the relationship to make them fall out of love with them. Like why wouldn't you just get a divorce? Because some um, divorces from people end in, can you say the D word? Like, like the man might. Yeah, we get the idea. If we rob a bank, is it the police's fault and the bank's fault and everybody but me? <laughs> Delusional. Imagine living a life where you answer to nobody, are not responsible for your actions, but are entitled to make adult decisions and demand not to be judged for those decisions. They are like children, no accountability. When I was at FT Bragg, we were required to inform our spouse of when we would return. Soldiers would regularly try to surprise their spouse only to find them cheating. When we deploy the local bars would report an 18% increase in sales. Cheating isn't exclusive to the military. The rates seem higher because it's a smaller population but is absolutely representative of national rates of infidelity. You knew this was going to be a facepalm as soon as the large one opened her mouth. The reality is that many women cheat because they have the opportunity to, and the right guy is asking them to. I have an ex. Before me, she had this husband that was the alpha of alphas. He was 6'4", the captain of a fire department, and had also taken part in mountain climbing, smoke jumping, and extreme rescues. She has two boys that are 6'8 and 6'9. Now, you'd think a woman like this wouldn't cheat because her husband gave her no reason to. Nope. The right guy asked, she cheated, and her husband divorced her. The only consolation to this is that she knows she will never ever replace that guy. Oh well. That is probably the biggest red flag a woman can show just by talking. It's funny you could see all the women around her agree just because they knew what she was saying would trigger the men, so all you seen was smirks and giggles. But the second he asked her to elaborate and explain, and she started coming up with retarded reasons why a cheater would cheat, and all of a sudden, it's the other person's fault. You could literally see all the condescending smirks slowly disappear, and all of a sudden, they started acting like they wasn't paying attention. Accountability is a woman's kryptonite. Everything is men's fault, even if it isn't. Speaking of cheating, would you date an OF model kind of girl? I'm sure that, if at all, you'd just pump and dump with a condom, of course. I, I, I just, I need to come back to this. Do you guys genuinely think that the majority of men, so more than 50% of men, want to have a serious long-term relationship with a sex worker? I'm, I'm not saying, to. look, I'm not saying that you're not, you guys are hopeless and, hold on, let me just finish. I'm not saying that you guys are hopeless and you'll never find a guy. It may be very well be the case that you'll find a guy, fall in love, have a w fruitful, beautiful relationship. I'm just speaking in general here. Generally speaking, would you say that the majority of men are okay with dating a sex worker? So let's say 50, more than 50% of men would be okay with dating a sex worker. I'm not saying there aren't there aren't men that aren't down to fuck you. Clearly, there are. I think it depends on the girl. And be in relationships with you. Um, I don't think it's the majority. I think it's harder to date as a sex worker. Okay, yeah. But like, from the but you experience. seem to think that. I think there's a ton of people willing to date sex workers. I meet them all the time. I meet them on dating apps. But that's, that's not what I'm do. asking you. I'm saying How the am majority. How I supposed to know 50% majority? Like. Okay. All right. Well, let's. We're gonna move. So then, move how on. are you gonna ask me that? How am I supposed to know that most men don't want well, that? Well, I'm not asking the majority What's up? question. What's up? You're the one claiming to know what most men want, so I'm wondering where that evidence is. I never claim to know what majority wants of anything. I think um I think it is entirely possible that you guys could find a long term boyfriend that is not traditional, that just um wants nothing more from you from your body, but I think you need to acknowledge that he's only there for your body. There's no, there's nothing more that he's in, he's looking from you for. I don't think that's true. I don't you don't either. think that's true? No. I think that's just judging someone for what they do for work and not who they are as a person. No, no, I'm not judging you. I'm judging the type of man that would be interested. I think oh, okay. yeah, I think I think I think a man that is comfortable dating a sex worker, I think they're deep in the in the coomer perverse rabbit hole, I think. 
That's what I think. What do you think about like a man that met a girl as she was a sex worker and then she decided she liked him so much and she wanted to quit sex work oh. and be with him? You what know what? You I this is where I differ from most guys, I think. I really genuinely wholeheartedly believe in the individual character reformation redemption arc. I, I really I believe in the OnlyFans redemption. I do. I really, really do. But I think you need to be able to be introspective and, and say, listen, like this is something that's probably stopping me from finding the partner of my dreams that really values me as an, as an individual for more than my body. But I, I so think what happens after years and years and years, that person still just wants you for just your body. Uh, no, no, I think I think that if you have gotten out of that line of work, um, I think I think they're with you for other reasons. Right. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Yeah. She said that made sense, but she'll probably believe whatever and never change her mind. If a man wants a chick just for her body, he's hardly looking for anything else. This is why getting and keeping a man are two completely different things. Dated a stripper for a while, it eats at you, it really really does. All these clips prove that women don't think logically, they feel. If it's above 0% possible, they only see possible. They don't understand probable. I'm fascinated with this. I'm curious to see what the future of relationships will be in the next half century or so. I'm kind of blackpilled, so I'm thinking things aren't really going to improve. I believe society will simply move towards single being the default with hookups being an expectation and actual loving relationships being an exception. Actually, I think it might already be like that. LOL. There's no point in warning them if they aren't willing to listen. If they truly believe their profession will not hinder their chances of settling down, let them believe in their fantasy. Father time will act as the ultimate reality check in due course. In my 69 years on this planet, I've never met a man who would want to marry or date a whore. In order to have a meaningful relationship with someone, you have to respect them. Men don't respect women who sold out their values for easy cash. We respect women who are intelligent, work hard, have high moral standards, and respect themselves enough to not become a whore. I don't want my wife to be someone with weak values slash morals and is known for being able to be bought by material things. Guys, thanks for checking out this video. Stay tuned for more daily content. Like, subscribe, and comment. See you in the next video, guys. Till next time.